All right, guys, even here in this video, we're going to talk about whether Phil Heath even can win 2019 Mr. Olympia if he decides to compete. The reason why I'm making this video right now is because I watched the video from Nick Strength and Power in which he basically said that this YouTuber, it's a French YouTuber who uploaded a video on his YouTube channel talking how he talked to Phil Heath at certain expo. And Phil Heath told him that he is probably going to compete at the Mr. Olympia 2019. Basically, he's going to do an eight-week prep, and depending on how he looks after those eight weeks, he'll decide whether he's going to compete or not. If he decides not to compete, he will probably never compete again. Now, of course, I don't speak French. I'm just saying what Nick said in his video. And also, I don't know if this guy is telling the truth. Nobody knows that. Maybe he's lying, maybe not. But it does seem like Phil is going to make a comeback. I'm saying comeback, but it's not really a comeback if he competes again. He basically never really took a year off if he competes in 2019. But he said he's going to take a break. So it's kind of a comeback. Anyways, what do I think? Is he really going to come back? Probably yes, because he's training super hard. He is uploading videos and photos of him on Instagram very frequently, more frequently than he was uploading back when he was the Mr. Olympia, actually. And he looks big. He looks very, very big. But is that going to be enough? Phil Heath lost in 2018. Sean Roden won. And did he deserve to win it? Well, many people argue about this. There are a lot of different opinions. But my opinion, my take, is that Sean absolutely deserved to win it. Even though I'm not a huge fan of Sean Roden's physique, I'm not a huge fan of Sean Roden's personality, or the lack of it, neither am I a fan of what Sean Roden did for bodybuilding. He basically didn't do anything since he became the Mr. Olympia. He was just having fun with his family. He didn't even train hard. They didn't see anything of him until that Pittsburgh Pro guest posing where he actually showed up completely fat, like it doesn't even lift, not looking anything like a Mr. Olympia should be looking like. And even before, if you guys remember, he also talked about Phil Heath, how he's not doing anything for the sport. Let me remind you, let me show that video once again. Congratulations to Mr. Olympia for what he has done, but I don't think he has done anything for the sport of bodybuilding, personally. For someone that has won that many titles, what, is, like, what have you done for bodybuilding? I look at... You know, someone like yourself who was retired. And I'm like, wow, Jay's at the Army base. Wow, he's not even competing. <laughs> I was like, but, you know, to see, you know, four-time Mr. Olympia retired and still out there on the daily, daily, daily grind. And then the current Mr. Olympia that doesn't travel. That doesn't benefit her sport at all. And if you're seven-time Mr. Olympia, this should be a whole lot of shit that you have done with those seven titles to bring, you know, more attention to the bodybuilding, more notoriety to bodybuilding. Besides just saying that I got seven titles and I think it's time for a change. So, as you guys can see, he was saying how Phil is not traveling, how he's not promoting the sport enough. But in my opinion, he promoted the sport way more than Sean ever did. And yeah, maybe Phil is a bit arrogant, but at least he has a personality and he's educated. Overall, he was a great promoter for the sport compared to Sean Roden, in my opinion. But if we talk about physiques, how they both looked at the 2018 Mr. Olympia... I have to agree that Sean deserved to win. He had overall better package. The conditioning was close, but I think that Sean had better conditioning, a little bit better. Sure, Phil had better arms, probably bigger chest, bigger back, better hamstrings, but the definition of their quads, Sean won that part. Um, the definition of their glutes, the overall flow of the physique, and the stomach. I mean, the core on Phil was horrible. That was a complete disaster. So, what would Phil have to do to win the Mr. Olympia 2019? What should he change? So, I would say that he doesn't need to add any mass. He doesn't need to improve a single body part. He has all the muscle that he needs. But if he showed up looking like in 2013 or 2011, which would be a long shot and probably impossible, but the thing that makes him so good in those years is the fact that he was bigger. Bigger than he is today. Yeah, he had more muscle. And he had great conditioning, better conditioning than he has today. Even though his conditioning is great compared to the rest of the competitors. He has great conditioning. His conditioning is not wrong. It's not bad. It's a really good conditioning. But it's not Phil Heath conditioning. And the reason why Phil actually won all those Mr. Olympias is because he has the right muscles on the right places, in the perfect shape. And that 3D look combined with that crazy conditioning is what made him look bigger and better than anybody else. 
he was always able to beat bigger guys bigger than him because he had all the muscle that he needed he was so complete he had muscles on the perfect places and combined with that conditioning as i already said that was that was his winning formula but right now his conditioning is not ideal it's not perfect in 2018 so the thing is he needs to bring perfect condition he needs to come sharper than 2011 or 12 or 13 he needs to come peeled to the bone and even then it's gonna be hard because of his stomach his stomach was his biggest issue it wasn't conditioning if his stomach was fine he would win that show no doubt about that if his stomach was fine that was a huge problem for him but can he do it can he fix that stomach i don't think so i don't think so because every year his stomach looks worse in 2009 8 or 10 his stomach was perfect it was great 2011 where he won the show the mr olympia for the first time he looked okay his stomach looked fine it wasn't really noticeable 2012 2013 it was getting worse but it still wasn't a big issue 2014 it was very very visible 2016 he downsized a lot so it wasn't really that noticeable 2017 it was pretty noticeable but not enough for him to lose and in 2018 it was a complete mess a complete disaster but in that year you had Sean Roden who was in great great conditioning probably the best conditioning of his life he was peeled to the bone and he has a great structure it's a Mr. Olympia worthy structure he doesn't really lack too many body parts I mean he can improve a couple of them but overall he looks great I mean his body is very compact it's a complete physique and combined with great conditioning versus Phil who wasn't at his best who had huge stomach problem it was enough for Sean to win so basically all in for all the reason why Phil lost 2018 was his stomach his conditioning was fine it wasn't horrible it was really good but it wasn't perfect Sean brought great conditioning on the other hand a bit better than Phil's almost the same but he had no obvious stomach problem so if Phil repeats the same conditioning with the same muscularity but fixes a stomach issue he will win the Mr. Olympia nobody can reach him that's not very likely to happen I don't see how can he fix that problem of his stomach but if he brings better conditioning if he brings perfect conditioning if he comes peeled to the bone with good fullness like 2011 for example I think that he will be able to win it even if he doesn't fix that stomach issue but that's just my opinion guys if you think i'm wrong tell me in the comment section below why do you think i'm wrong if you think that i'm right however tell me why do you think i'm right anyways don't forget to comment and don't forget to like the video as well and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already if you want to see more bodybuilding content like this so that's about it for this video guys thank you for watching and bye bye